In this video, I want to show you guys how to create how to create a listing inside of Skyslope. So in previous videos, we've showed you how to actually create the listing paperwork, how to get it signed. But now once it's on the market, how do we create a listing in Skyslope to get it audited and um, get it compliant? So we're going to jump into Skyslope here. So again, we don't use create transaction. We don't use create listing until the contract is actually accepted or the listing is actually live. All the paperwork we're going to be doing is in forms. So in this video, we're going to assume you've created the paperwork, it's been signed, and now it is time to actually put it on the MLS. So we're going to click create listing. Uh, we are going to get it submitted. So you're going to be able to choose from your form. Remember, we created one in the video. Uh, 123 Main Street Seller Skeleton. So we already we already created through the forms process. We created the documents, edited them, got them signed. Uh, and now I'm going to use this to create the listing. So I'm going to hit next question. Uh, it is residential built. Um, uh, it was built before 1978. Uh, the list price was 200. Listing commission, I'm going to say is three. And the sales commission is three. List date, expiration date, it's pulling this information from the documents. Uh, let's say it was built in 1920. The source of the deal, where did I get this referral from? Was it a personal referral? Was it from an advertisement? Did someone call me off one of my listings? Uh, let's just say it was um, Sphere of Influence. My friend called me. Uh, seller, seller 10 is their name. Phone number is put a phone number if there's a wife or another person living in the house and their owner we put their information here and click that so here's all the information create my listing now it's creating the listing in Skyslope for us very slowly All right, now it's going to ask us to start putting all the documents in that we already got signed. So everything with the red required mark is going to be required from the processor for compliance. So we're going to click the document disclosure of brokerage duties. We're going to click attach. And we're going to find it because we already got it signed in that previous envelope and in that previous form. Uh, so we're going to click disclosure of brokerage duties. We're going to click assign. Uh, the next document is listing agreement. So we're going to click attach. We're going to find the listing agreement. We're going to click assign. Uh, estimate at the seller. Attach. Assign. Uh, property conditions. Attach. Assign. Lead based paint. Attach. Assign. Uh, some of these extra documents are going to be some EXP required documents. So we can go in there and get these signed and get them uploaded later. But as far as what we have now, now we're all set. So. We're just going to wait um, in previous uh, or in other doc, uh, systems like dot loop you'd have to push the submit for review button to the top right in skyslope you don't have to every time you upload a document or say or do anything it sends the processor a notification so all these are in review for the processor is getting that notification to come in and audit these and then you'll get an email a day or two later saying hey you're missing uh, wire fraud and affiliated business disclosure and then you can come in and all that activity will be logged in the log section and the tasks section as well. Um, so you can come in here and upload documents as you need them, add them to the checklist. And then once you receive an offer and accept that offer on your listing, then you will click this create or accept contract button. And that turns your listing into a transaction. Uh, but we won't do that yet. We'll have a transaction via video as well. So. That's it, simple as can be when creating a listing. The hard part is getting all the documents signed in the front end, uh, creating listing documents. But once it's ready to go active, fill out the information. It pulls a lot of the documents or a lot of the information from your documents and then it puts it out here for you. And that's it.